Uh, my name is Ed Rowland, and uh, at Panorama, I uh, am involved in two particular areas of orthopedics, uh, the treatment of trauma and the treatment of the hand and wrist. I was lucky enough to have a father who was a surgeon, and that uh, allowed me to have a tremendous role model to uh, be able to see what life as a surgeon is like, and that's kind of what led me down the path uh, to medicine. I went to college at Bucknell, uh, ended up at Temple University for medical school, and then stayed on at Temple to do my residency in orthopedics. So within the field of orthopedics, I was really drawn to the trauma side of things. People hurt very badly. But at about the same time, I was working with a mentor who, who it was on a hand surgery rotation. And he recognized that I was, uh, had particular uh, aptitude in the hand and, and interest in the hand. And so hand surgeons have to be very detail oriented. They have to be able to handle the most delicate structures and put together the tiniest fractures. And he said, if you took that ability and tied it to the treatment of trauma patients, then you'll be the best trauma surgeon ever because you can handle the tiniest, most delicate things, and then you can take those skills and apply them to treating larger fractures. So I looked for what I thought was the equivalent of a university setting in a private practice model. And uh, it took me a couple stops along the way, but that's when an opportunity opened up at Panorama, and I moved from the East Coast here because of this job opportunity. My true passion out of work, besides my family, is uh, biking. When I moved to Colorado, I, I get interested in road cycling. I had never road cycled prior to coming to Colorado, uh, but I, was, uh, I set this crazy goal when I moved here to ride the uh, Leadville Trail 100. And so someone said to train for the Leadville 100, you should spend some time on a road bike and do a lot of the steep climbs that Colorado has to offer. And sure enough, in doing so, I fell in love with road biking. So now I don't, it's a toss up. Uh, I'll climb on either bike depending on the day and the weather. Because of that, you then begin to learn who all the local cyclists are and you start riding with them. And of course, they want to know what you do for work. And with that background, uh, they would start calling me when they or their friends were injured. And uh, word uh, would quickly spread that uh, hey I know somebody that can fix you and in cycling the clavicle is the most commonly injured uh, bone and, and the clavicle has been an area I've been interested in for 20 years so I was fixing clavicles with implants that weren't really designed to fix clavicles and it worked they healed and, and, and uh, now actually the science has evolved to where we have very strong plates that can handle the loads on the clavicle and so more and more people are fixing clavicles but but I think I got an early start on it and that's allowed me to to uh, really make that a special area of mine and then it attracts all the cyclists because they learn that I'll fix it and let them back on their bikes very quickly. 